Ninjas, I need you to go into space. Okay, I will. This is the Secret Ninja Force. <laughs> Oh, this is Secret Ninja Force Ninja Duel. This is another use of the generic ninja mold, which can be used for absolutely everything, including generic ninjas. I picked this set up from a Dollar General, and one of the main reasons I was interested in picking this one up was the name reminded me of Ed Glazer's Ninja the Mission Force. I know this is one of those videos where people are going to be like, but what is this a bootleg of? And you know, it's a bootleg of real toys, I don't care. Really though, one of the reasons I do want to cover this on Bootleg Zones is just because it's another use of this mold, which is used to knock off so many different lines. But couldn't it be on MMZ then? No, this is the right show for it, trust me. One of the main reasons this belongs on Bootleg Zones is because it's 6x9. Yeah, I bet you didn't think about that, did you? So this is one of the few knockoff adjacent toys that actually has a year on it. Copyright 2011, Ja Ru Inc. And we got a proper company logo for Ja Ru and everything in the corner with it listing that they're based out of Jacksonville, Florida. And it was also made in Comic Sans. I mean China. Four pieces, even though there's only two figures. I guess the swords count, sure. Ja Ru has actually existed since 1961 and they just produce a lot of cheapy toys that you'll often find in dollar store aisles. One of my new favorites that I just saw that Ja Ru released is Flarp, the Noisemaker, which is a fart machine not called a fart machine. You just know that this guy's about to go Flarp in his ninja getup. Now let's get a nice close up here to show you how jagged this picture is because they've blown it up way too large. They actually use this picture again over in the top right corner flipped horizontally, but it doesn't look so bad because it's not blown up overly large. And then there's Noob Sabot over here who just wants to feel included. So yeah, if you loved Secret Ninja Force Ninja Duel in color, you'll love it even more in black and white. Kind of surprisingly, the back of the card doesn't try and tell us to collect all the color variants or anything. Instead, we have a weird blurb about being a ninja. Mass Master of stealth and skilled in combat and disguise, the skills of a ninja are legendary. A ninja's weapons include the katana, a long sword of extreme sharpness and balance, and the shuriken, a star-shaped throwing knife. A ninja is trained for secret missions that involve great risk and danger. Practice the way of the ninja with secret ninja force, TM. Wow, I can't believe that I'm gonna learn the real ways of the ninja with these toys. That's unbelievable. I like how these guys got swords that match their opponent's colors and not their own. I guess it's just way too much of an overload of one color if they did it the other way. So these figures are uh, extremely cheapy feeling. Green guy, ugh, getting weird snaps when trying to move his arm. Feels real good. The arms are the only articulation they have. They feel like they're gonna break half the time when you move them. No head, no leg articulation. These are just such lightweight pieces of crap. It, it's astounding. Even getting them to hold their weapons isn't easy, as you really have to position the sword in a specific way for it to not just very loosely kind of hang in the hand and fall out. It's like they didn't design the grip of these guys for these swords or something. It's almost like they just paired these guys with whatever accessory mold they had. <laughs> The back of the card mentioned shuriken along with katanas, but guess what we didn't get? Look at my amazing ninja grip! Yeah! I've got a green sword! I'm at least holding on to it while it flops around in my hand! <laughs> oh, there it goes. These figures actually have butt stamps which read Made in China, Ja Ru, and then the product number. Stupid sexy secret Ninja Force butt stamps! Oh yeah, get a load of where I was made. Boom. 
So with both these figures, the right arm likes to move a lot better than the left. The left kind of stops at this point and then feels like it's going to break if you try and force it up anymore. I can say these guys are detailed okay at least for generic ninja mold figures. They're not overly sloppy or anything. They do feel a little blank though with no painting at all going on on their arms or legs. And of course, absolutely nothing on the back either, except for butt stamps and screws. They are translucent though, so there is that. Eh, who cares? Die! Arr! You betrayed the ninja code, you losers! Really, I don't know how stealthy these two ever would be. No one can see me! It's the giant translucent green man! <laughs> Get him! Ah! And then it's time for the tombstone! Because it needs to turn into wrestling! <laughs> oh no! I can't move my legs! <laughs> I can't do it! Reversal! Ah -ha -ha! I can't do it either! Oh, but I dropped him at least! Oh. These figures are so lightweight and with the no leg articulation, it makes them really annoying to stand, actually. And it took many attempts to get them to stand here holding their swords without having them just drop them constantly. Stupid, clumsy, secret ninja duelers. Well, since they're translucent, we might as well kind of play around with that. Woo! This is the... Best use I bet anyone ever got out of these stupid figures. Look at that. Yeah, we're shining light through them. <laughs> stupid secret ninja force. Doo, doo, doo. This is the ninja duel for the ages. No one really gives a shit about them. Generic ninja mold. This really sucks out loud. <laughs> Don't make me go super shiny. Imagine there's action because I don't want to move them. Yeah, here we go. Jaru also released wall tumblers under the Secret Ninja Force line, which look even more pathetic than the Ninja Duel 2 pack that I got. I mean, really, look at those faces. What is going on there? That's the kind of quality you get from the company that brought us do I guess. These wonderful, partly sticky pieces of crap that slip down your walls were also released as NINJA wall crawlers, but not put out by Jaru, it seems. These are dollar store crap, so you can't what you paid for! Three. These are one of the most overused molds in the cheap knockoff scene, and this really isn't a mind-blowing use of them. Two. They can get a few points at least for the translucency, I guess. Three. It's a fairly standard package, but I suppose the name did at least get me to pick it up back when. And I like the crappy blow up and the weird blurb about being a ninja on the back too. Four. These molds usually get some of the worst plastics out there and Secret Ninja Force has continued that tradition. They only have arm articulation as well and those barely work. One. And the bootleg zones overall is one. These suck, but at least I can amuse myself by shining a light through them. <laughs> You want to step up the punchy, do you? Well, you'd better eat a leaf, cause I'm in a real bad mood. What the hell is he saying? Why is Starscream here in the first place? Shut up is why I'm here. I'm the ghost of Starscream, and you two Ninja Force idiots think you're cooler translucent figures than me? I uh, promise you, Starscream, we never said that. We are the crappiest translucent figures ever to be produced. Oh yeah, right, nice hyperbole. That's not true at all. There's worse than us. It's gotta be, right? Right?
Oh no! I killed my partner! What have I done? You idiot! I'll kill you! I'm dead too! Not that it matters, cause I'm a ghost! <laughs> nice sword, loser! I can hold it better than you! I'm still holding on to my sword at least! It got wedged in pretty decently! Who cares? Ah! Wow! I can't believe that I'm now well practiced in the way of the ninja with secret ninja force! Uh, yeah, you, you're totally a, a ninja now, Starscream. But, uh, just don't ask any actual ninja. We don't guarantee any practicing of secret ways of ninja forcing. What? So, you two mm, fucking idiots! <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs>